So we've just released our PFS study into the Galala Silica project. Exceptional numbers, uh, looking at 358 million NPV, payback period 1.4 years, uh, internal rate of return over 66%. Included in that too, of course, is our maiden ore reserve at 32 million tonnes. These numbers are incredibly robust and give us a lot of confidence moving forward to progress through the next steps to mine development. So over life of mine, we're talking over 23 and a half years. We're producing 1.3 million tonnes per year of this low iron, high purity silica product. That's used directly in the manufacture of solar panels, meets their very exacting requirements on the manufacturing side. Uh, about 70% of every standard commercial panel uh, by weight is this encompassing low iron uh, silica uh, manufactured into the glass encasement. Um, we anticipate uh, over life of mine, over 23 and a half years, that that will be used to produce over 3 billion individual solar panels. So those 25 kilotons in savings equates to taking over 120 million cars off the road, are planting millions of hectares of forests and equivalent to over 30 million, actually about 36 million ordinary households. So these are truly extraordinary numbers and our contribution to the decarbonisation of the world economy is profound. We see an increasing world demand, um, a very obvious one for renewables and in particular solar. Um, we don't see that demand abating for any time soon. In fact, over a terabyte of extra demand is required, extra output is required over the next few years. And that leads to a truly extraordinary demand for all the products associated with the manufacture of solar panels. And the largest component of that is our silica. In terms of timing moving forward, the, there's some major milestones, corporate milestones coming up for the company. So we're finishing our definitive feasibility study over the next few months in the first quarter. Uh, looking to get our permitting and approvals finalised by second quarter. Looking to make financial investment decision around establishment of the mine by the middle of next year. Breaking ground by the tail end of next year and getting into production on the first quarter of 2023. We, we know these, are, these targets are ambitious, but we feel we're really well placed to achieve that.